It lays so flat, it's kind of amazing. It almost looks like a fur little piece of fur. They're going over and grabbing a carrot that was thrown to by Monique. Not all that interested in a carrot. Keep right out to kiss and nuzzle each other. Well, he's getting like seagulls up here, just kind of wrestling around. So when the Jeff ran over, he hit that one, but it looks like he's going to be okay now. He's just, he's not moving very much, but he, I think he's doing okay. Oh, there's the bread, got him moving. Not all that interested, the seagull took it. Okay. Oh boy, I watch the seagull the way he swallows that thing. Disgusting. That's okay, give it all That's a zebra right here, pretty close up. See how close I can get to that zebra right there. Oh, okay. Here's my hand right in front. An apple. Let's see how close I can get to it. He's eating a carrot right now. You can see how vivid his stripes are, the high contrast. It's kind of amazing. So that's nice. One in bag two. That's his eyeball close up. About as close as you're going to get to a zebra. They're actually a very timid creature out in the wild. It's kind of a really rare experience right now to be able to be so close. Even domesticated zebras are never usually this, this friendly. We've got two of them right here. The other one's still staying back a little bit. You can see how vivid those stripes are. High contrast. Extremely dense resolution. Okay, quit putting all the buds on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> got a mouthful, though. We're just going to let it digest a little bit. Kind of looks like a punk rocker, kind of, in a little bit. Got that little hot stripe here, dude. I gotta zoom back for it. <laughs> I'm furthest back, my zoom is as far back as it can go right now. If I go forward, I'd be up like this. I'm going up further now, getting closer and closer. That's about the closest I can get. I can still go further if I wanted to, because he's so close. This thing is breathing on me right now. I can feel the warm breath of that zebra. Oh, here he comes. Oh, yeah, you see the size of his teeth on that thing. That is amazing. That is absolutely amazing. We're going to go see what else we can find out that's going on here in the Olympic Wildlife Safari Reserve. With some llamas right here. They're not actually a llama. It's a, it's a different type of a llama. It's called a guanaco. Um, also, there's there's uh, there are llama up here as well. Um, coming up on either side of the vehicle. We've got a whole herd of them coming towards us right now. They're coming up the street. And we've got one eating right out of Monique's hand right now. Nibbling away. Okay. Okay. So we got a guanaco eating right out of Jeff's mouth right now. Just took a little bite. Shearing, this is an amazing thing. These, these are a creature that comes from Southeast India. And uh, they actually are uh, they're pretty domesticated over there, but still, um, any still have the potential to bite, and they spit also. It's kind of amazing. This is a rare sight to see a whole herd of llama and guanaco together like this. We've actually got about ten of them around us. Here's one right here, right, right here, standing real close, standing real close. As you can see, I'm reaching out, I just touched it. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Here comes another one. Another one right here. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. There's his teeth. Can't get much closer. Right here we got another one coming in on Jeff's side. Oh. 
Oh, they're eating right out of the inside of the vehicle at this point. They're, they're now they're, they're starting to charge. They're, they're charging now. They started stampeding a little bit. This one's got his tail raised for some strange reason. Oh my gosh, we got a, uh oh, big mother. We got a big one. We've got a guanaco. This is a guanaco. And this is the biggest guanaco I think I've seen. As you notice, they've got a very unusual creature. Enjoys carrots, however. These things are amazing creatures. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Coming a little closer. Ouch. He likes those carrots, huh? Those carrots go a long way, too. Yeah, they do. It's leaning completely into the vehicle. This is the big one. This is the big one. This guanaco right here probably weighs about 800 to 900 pounds. Look at the size of the ears on that thing. I've zoomed completely back as far as I can because if I don't, if I get too much closer, I so you lose him because he's so big that I just is have to zoom back in. Get this one on the baby. There's a little one coming up here. There's a little baby. There she is. Look the one right behind us. There's a car behind us now. These actually don't grow to their full adulthood until they're about two and a half years old. This one right here is about nine months, maybe, maybe a year old. It's a pretty white one. And we're leaving the herd behind us as they go after another vehicle that's only got bread. An elk right here. This is about a seven pointer, maybe a six and a half, seven point. The thing's got some flies on it because the flies are going for moisture. Squim Valley here is located in the Olympic Peninsula, just on the other side of the Olympic Mountain Range. And because of that, they've only got 15 inches of annual rainfall. Right now, the rack is too big to get his head any further into the vehicle. <laughs> I didn't notice that. But I'm gonna, if we can get him on the other side, we'll show you the size of the rack on this thing. It's got an amazing rack. I'll get him on that side. Hold on, don't film. Chris, it's hard to predict the age on this one. It's got a lot of pull to it, though, I have to admit. Dude, Ken, this thing's a huge one. I know, I can't get him over here. I'd love to get that one over here, Jeff. Okay, I'll roll up the window. I don't think we can get him over here, though. I'm gonna back up. So close to He's coming around again to me. Okay, I'm gonna get out and go take a picture of him, Jeff. Yeah, as you can see, I am now outside the vehicle. This is totally prohibited by law. I'm outside the vehicle and he's backing up. We are now so close. This is a bluff right over here. He decides this one. Oh, here's the big one. Here's the one I'm talking about. He's right out of the vehicle. I'm now getting close. Look at the size of this one tonight. He could charge at any moment. Getting closer. A little closer. Kind of an awesome feeling right now, getting so close to this thing. You guys that rack. He's a little bit timid with the camera. Oh, get back in the car. I'm gonna just zoom in for a close up and then and I go back into the car. See, the horns in that thing are immense. Look at the size of that thing. Spread completely out. He's now as back as two as we're trying to lure him over quickly.
with a little bit of bread. As you can see how beautiful his feathers are, even his underfeathers here. Very soft. Now here he's turning for the full span. Look at the size of that span up there. That is an incredible span. From end to end, that's about an eight and a half foot span. But you can look at the colors on that thing. That's incredible. It's just very vivid. I'm going to go in closer. You can see the color of that thing's head. As you can see, there's the male, there's a beautiful bloom, and the female right up here. This is the rear side right here. You get the female right up here watching the mating ritual dance of the male peacock. It's kind of amazing to see both, one in the background, way back. both of them together. There's also a couple of peacocks back there in the background. The colors on these birds are just really amazing. 4,000 pound African rhino. Total weight of about two tons. The size of his horn in front of him is about five and a half to six feet long. You just see the immensity of that creature. It's amazing. You can see how well that thing likes carrots. Did not notice it. It's kind of oblivious to most things except for his manure pile. It seems to be really enjoying that. an apple right down by him. Hopefully he'll find it. He's going to go down. He's got that tree horn he's got to contend with. He's got an apple right down. He's right at his foot there. He smells something that smells different than the new one. Not sure what it is. Oh, he's got to burrow down that horn to even reach the apple. Look at that. Look at it going down for the apple now. He knows the apple's there, but he can't get to it because his horn is blocking right there. <laughs> He's going for the carrot. He's going down for the carrot. He can't quite reach it. He's kind of frustrated. Oh, that's a frustrating thing. Can you imagine being so close yet so far away? Or I know. Maybe he... The thing misses out on most of his best meals that way. Well, I couldn't see where I was still in there. Okay, watch this. This guy's going to do some tricks for us. He'll raise his hand. He'll raise his hand. Can I get him to Okay. Whoops, missed the catch. Okay, we got we got him at full span. These things are just jumping, they're getting a little riled right now. They're getting a little bit riled. Look at that, look at that, look at that wave, look at that wave. Right at the camera. Oh, these guys love their apples. I can't believe how close I'm getting to these things. It's so kind of eerie almost. Look at the size of this one right here. Look at the size of this bear. Look at the size of him. I am so close, I could reach out and touch him. It's a little bit intimidating. It's a little scary. He's waving. Oh, bounced off his tooth. Look at that. You don't realize how close. Look how close he is. He's right there. It's kind of weird. Look at the size. Look at those choppers just go at it. The size of those toenails. Now, there is a little wire fence separating us, but it's not much. Just threw him a carrot. He just digested that in a matter of seconds. Now, it doesn't look like that big of a creature. You gotta realize that's all molten muscle mounted upon its frame. Look at that, look at that. I think the words right out of my mouth, Ken. <laughs> oh, good snag. This bear, I could actually, I'm now, it's a little bit intimidating because I am, my hand, you gotta realize my hand is right there, okay? So it's just, you gotta realize how close I am. I can practically reach out and touch him. Another three feet, I can go and touch him. We got this bear over here, back here. He wants a little bit of treat. He's coming out of the water way back here. Okay, now we got someone. Get, they're getting, he's getting a little upset. He's getting a little jealous. That one just came out of the water back there. 
for a swim. There are bears all over here right now. Whoa! Get him to do that again. That's incredible. <laughs> that is incredible. This is a really large bear. I can practically get him to eat right out of my hand. Amazing. There's the apple right here. Got an apple in my hand. I'm gonna try to get him to run. This is a very large bear. If you saw this thing in the wild, you would not know what to do. We're taking great chances right here to be able to. Full spread. I almost got thrown into the bear den from a little push, push from behind on that one, so I lost my balance. It's amazing. It's so incredible. Yeah. It's amazing. It's amazing okay, he's not all right here. There's the back of the bear. Got just a little piece left. He really enjoyed them. Throw him another piece. Whoops. Bounce. Well, he's got this one right here. I can't get back any further. Okay, now he's going. It bounced off. And so... so when these creatures are running at you, full board, it's amazing. They run a good 45 miles per hour at full speed. See, they're still coming back. You know, these bears, they may seem extremely tame for what we're doing, but no, there's no wild animal that can truly be domesticated at any time they can turn on you. The only reason why they're being so calm right now is because we are feeding them. And of course, you're not supposed to be feeding them the way that we are. You do this in Yellowstone. Get ticketed for it. There's a big hunk of bread. He sure loves that bread. Look at that. Oh, he wasn't as happy with the bread as he was the apple. He's still eating it. I want you to get a good look. I'm going to do this one with eating out of his paw. Look at again. Watch this. Watch the way he goes after that, that carrot. Whoops. We're going after the carrot. Watch this. He picks it up with his paw, starts eating it. it looks a little bit like he's smoking a cigar here. Look at that. He's doing a grouch from Mark's impersonation. We've got the last piece. It's right as well. Look at the size of that bear. That's the one we were feeding our cubs out here that just feed. Just. <laughs> There's three cubs out here. They've been here for three years now. These are about three years old. I can remember when they were just babies. Oh, wow. She had a frisbee throw right into his mouth. Oh! Can you hear him kind of growling a little bit? Having fun. Look at that. Those things just flying right in the mouth. That's amazing. That is amazing. Can I give him the opportunity to do that? He's waving for more. And he snags it with his hand and his mouth. It looks so human, I call it a hand instead of a paw. It's amazing. All three of those things. Look at that. Where's Goldilocks in a time like this? It's amazing. They're all begging for it to get the bread, and they're the last one there. He wants it. Jeff has been neglecting it. There you go. It's like he's just going, me, 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 me. Yeah. Before they get done chewing, they probably just want more. Never feed them past that. We could sit here and do this all day. It's amazing. Eight pointer coming at us. An eight pointer coming right towards the fence with a piece of bread that's hanging there. <laughs> 
pointer. Maybe it's more, maybe I miscalculated. I count 10, I count 10, I think that's 10 pointer. Or 11, is that 11 pointer? Thing's huge, that's all I can say. That's bigger than Thudwick, the big hearted mooses. Go on, passing it. That's the ostrich. You can't really see her, she was laying down like a bare skinned rug. And then she's got her cubs. These are the cubs that I was telling you about earlier. Three years old. Get a good shot of the mother now. Besides that mother. Jeffy's coming right. Oh. God. Turn last second. Oh, there he's. He's coming around the front. Oh, God. And that little wire fence is there. So it feels like a small constellation for protection. That's all I can say. Look at the size of that thing. that thing. I hear they like carrots. Look at that thing. It's a wild horse. Just devouring that carrot right out of there. Amazing. It's a beautiful animal, actually. Heard of deer coming around. These are fallow deer right here. Velvety horns. They're a little bit intimidated by the camera, but you can see there's several of them coming around. Yeah, these are young, these are very young. I'm having a hard time coming that carrot. Look at that full stretch of the neck right there. Reaching up for bread. They seem to really enjoy the bread. Yeah, you got a whole carrot. You got a whole carrot. You have a camp for now. You'd think it'd be a lot harder with that, but it, no, it's actually almost pliable. It's kind of interesting. Look at the size of that thing. I'm gonna hop on its back. <laughs> this other one's up, so okay. Take the power to that. Well, I hate those people's spot. 
can. That's a big buffalo. I don't know. <laughs> that is kind of amazing when you consider the size of this creature. Okay, okay. <laughs> Come on in, buddy. This is Bertha. We've named her. <laughs> Get Bertha out of here. Look at the size of this creature. It's back fairly clear. Oh, it's stealing the whole loaf of bread. door again. I don't know, but this thing is starting to he's smell he's rancid. He's chewing on my car! They smell rancid. I cannot appreciate the smell of these creatures. Enough. It's just amazing. <laughs> this guy's knocking at my door. Get out of here! Whoa, he's almost eating all of our apples. Okay, we're out of here. Get him up. We can get him up. We can get him up, Jeff. Can we get him in? <laughs> here, come on. Come here. I'm gonna realize how much of this creature is inside the vehicle at this point. Buffalo drool all over the place in here. <laughs> Monique loves it. <laughs> Why'd you feed him so? You don't like these? Hey Jeff, you do some that camera action. I'm gonna get some work going on him. I'm gonna give him a little workout. <laughs> Watch out. Can't give him a better workout than that. <laughs> Jeff just about right over a buffalo. Here we go, Jeff. Scowling. Why? I don't know. She's mad though. Okay. Now, the red light means it's not right. Yeah. It's got such strength, it's amazing. You could throw this, you could tear this whole van apart in single motion. You get an idea of that size, man. <laughs> Ken's now trying to grab the horn of the I got one, I got him, I got him. <laughs> yeah. Got away. He's gonna ram you. I was gonna try to... Here we have a beefalo. It's a cross between a cow and a buffalo. They actually are using these a lot. Here in the northwest. Yeah, the meat market supply. It's a uh, meat wise, they contain a lot more meat and also lower cholesterol, lower fat content. Monique's throwing that carrot. I can read it right out of your hand, Monique. Right out of your hand, that'd be great. Just hold it out. Hold it out. Hold it out. There we go.
Alright, Mr. Bibolo. Give me some more deer, a little curd. That would you. Here's a scan of the Tundra train plane right out here. Calves right there. Let's go and roll down the window underneath and get a better shot at them. So the buffalo right up here. And there's a whole herd. Let me go up a little zoom there and go get some. There's ma mama's coming to protect me now. Whoa, 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 we got one right here. Come on, we didn't see this thing come out. Ooh, it's pressing its face again. There's a window steamed up. I got window cleaner, so. Already. These are the most aggressive ones right here. They're protecting our young. Here's, a, here's an older one over here. Oh, yeah. This one's charging me on the side, man. Well, I can just go. Now. This is a good air do on this one. Got a little bit of that for American up there. Jump for me, so I had to yell sorry. Back at the tundra where the shadow beasts roam. There's some turkeys. You see how beautiful the colors are on those things, regardless of how ugly they are. Which one's the guy, Ken? Pounds. And she was not born here. She was brought in as a cub and hand raised. She's real easy going. Can we dance for him?